we're working on no time for sergeants and warners, and they like what we did. So they gave us two pages synopsis. Now, Richard Bull, who was an executive producer, he and his wife came up with the basic formula of, of the uh, ca cavalry troop out west who were who had a racket going. The sergeant had a racket going with the Indians. And to, to make them look like they were needed out west in the press Washington, he had to deal with this Hakawi tribe and the chief. You know, they would make the two veneers and the sergeant had the concession to sell them. So that was, and they had to create a hostile tribe to make Washington think they were needed out there to protect our frontier. So the chief of the Indian tribe was in, was in on this thing. They made that. So it was, it was two pages. Well, a man named Jim Barnett, who was a staff writer at Warner's, wrote up the two pages. Mr. Bull and his wife didn't. This meant that when we did the pilot, they had nothing to say with it because nothing was, in, was written. So Jim Barnett got a small uh, part of the uh, writing credit as co-writer co of the story, and we got the teleplay. Now, about five years ago, a guy named uh, Bobby, Bobby, I wrote it down, he said, he said, I was a fan of F Troop. He says, I'm going to try to sell it for a movie. He says, you two own it. You and Ed James own it. And the Writers Guild had a thing called separation of rights. So we own, we own F Troop, not knowing it. Well, Bobby, Robert, right? he had, he sold it to three studios, but only for, uh, I, I didn't mean to make this a movie, an action picture. And uh, we got paid a small amount of option money from three studios and uh, didn't sell it. 